I was just really scared that people weren't going to accept me for me and people didn't want to be my friends anymore. I had all these things coming in my head that it never even happened when I came out. What helped me identify with being gay was that I started putting myself a little bit outside the comfort zone. Whereas I'd always kept myself to myself, I thought, right, I need to start getting out and about a little bit. I really went on a journey with that, getting to a place where I realised that it was equally as important for me to be honest with myself and my family. And I think being more sure of myself pushed them to be more kind of accepting. I think it's really important that you can have that safe space to be able to just be open to the ideas of whatever it could be that you want to explore, but having the right people around you just to make you feel you know, that you're not alone and you're not isolated. But it's so important to draw your own boundaries about what is and isn't okay and taking yourself away from toxic narratives or toxic communication that is just gonna put you at risk. Like, don't put yourself in those spaces if, if you get a sense of anything that your gut says no, like, leave it and walk away. I now know that it's okay for you to come out when you do feel ready because you need to accept yourself before mm. others can accept you. Sometimes you actually need to stop and actually look in the mirror or talk to people and open up about how you're feeling and just start exploring ideas of what it could be that's making you feel alone, scared or, or not sure about things. The people that matter will love you <laughs> regardless and they'll meet you with love. I think there's a lot of risk, like a lot of fear and uncertainty before you do it. Taking that risk is so important because it's learning in it. The people that are able to hold you and to meet you with love are the ones that will stay and the ones that aren't aren't worth having around is just the reality because it's only going to be damaging for you. There are people that are going to help you. There are organisations like Childline that can give you confidential advice. And then once you realise that it's actually not as scary because you've opened up and you realise that there's support, that you can then move on to the next chapter at your own pace and finally get to the answers that you're looking for.